Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create deals and coupons website for affiliate marketing using a free plugin. Let me show you an example of the deals and coupons website. This is a demo website and here you will see different deals and coupons are listed on this website. You will see different categories are also there. If I go to hostings, it will show the deals for the hosting category. Let's go to all coupons and if I click on one of these deals, you will see the details of the deal. This is the title. This is some information. This is the image for the deal, 15% off. And when I click on click to reveal, it will show the details of the coupon that can be used to get 15% discount. And this is a view this deal option. If I click on it, it will open the website. So let's click on click to reveal. And here you will see the discount coupon code. This is the website 15% discount and this is going to be the link of that website and you can replace this link with your own affiliate link. So if someone clicks on it, use the coupon code and make a purchase using your affiliate link, you're going to get the commission. So using this free plugin, you can create the similar deals and coupons website. You can also customize the style settings according to your requirement. The name of the plugin is Deals and Coupons Lite, powerful WordPress coupon plugin designed for affiliate marketers and bloggers. So I'll give you the link in the description box. You can go to the website and download the plugin from here and I'll show you how to install and use this plugin. So let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Go to plugins and go to add new plugin. You can download the plugin from here and after that you can upload the plugin or here you can search for deals and coupons light. Uh, this is the plugin here. Deals and coupons light. Install it and click on activate. So the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left hand panel you will see the option coupons. Let's go to coupons. And you will see one sample coupon is already there. Let's view this sample coupon. So this is going to be the layout of the single coupon page. This is the title. This is the information. This is the featured image 25% off then coupon code. This is some information about the coupon and this is the link or the call to action button. Right. So let's go back and let's click on add new coupon. We are going to create a new coupon. Let's say I'm going to create a coupon for site ground hosting. So this is going to be the title and here you can add the content for the coupon and here you will see the option set featured image. So I'm going to upload one image for the site ground. I have one sample image that I'm going to use. All right. So this is the featured image. So these are the settings for the deals and coupons. What is the percentage of discount that you're going to offer using the coupon? Let's say it is 20%. Then we have discount coupon code. Uh, this is going to be discount coupon code, let's say of 20. Then we have discount URL. So here you can add your affiliate link. I'm going to use the simple siteground.com. However, you can replace it with your affiliate link. Then you can add the discount description. All right, so this is the discount description, then call to action. Let's say get it now. Expiration date. You can also set up this expiration date. Let's say this is going to be 31st of May. So after that date, the coupon will expire. You can also add CSS class. Then we have different options, direct link, no follow. If you do not want this to show in the archive, you can check this box exclude from rotation, exclude from search. This is going to be a short code. If you want to show this deal on a specific page or post, you can use this short code. Then here you will see types. You can create different categories. I'm going to create a category, let's say hosting. And you can also create tags. If you want to create tags, you can create a tag. All right, now let's click on publish and let's see how does this look. Go on view coupon. And this is how it is going to look. This is the title. This is the information about the deal. This is the featured image and it shows 20. I think it should be 20%. And this is the coupon code. This is the title again. And this is the description of the coupon. And get it now. We'll go to the site ground website. So let's go to edit coupon. We are going to make some changes there. All right, let's make it 20%. Save it. Let's refresh it. All right, now it shows 
now here at the top you will see all coupons let's click on it and you will see a list of all the coupons this is the sample coupon that was created automatically and this is the coupon or the deal that we created at the top you will see the category that we added now let's go back to dashboard go to settings and under settings you will see the option deals and coupons click on it and these are the basic settings for this plugin enable custom template if checked this will auto generate coupon archive so it should be checked if you want to create archive below that we have archive url which is dsel underscore coupon so if i go to all coupons you will see this url here dsel coupons if you want to change it you can change it from here this is the coupon type slug navigation title is all coupons you will see it here navigation style is default vertical or drop down you can use different styles there enable tag sub nav then we have layout which is set to three columns you can change it to two column three column four columns five columns or you can also use list view so i'm going to keep it on three columns sort order will be date and post limit will be nine after that it will show the pagination so i'm not going to make any changes here this is for the coupon archive then we have single coupon enable custom template and we have coupon panel position which is on the right see so if i go to single coupon page you will see the panel is on the right hand side hide content title and hide breadcrumbs so if you do not want to show the title and the breadcrumb you can enable these option then we have title tag will be h1 all right so leave it as it is coupon panels call to action text will be get this deal while creating this coupon we used get it now then we have display discount codes so if i go here it is showing the coupon code here if you do not want to show this and if you want them to click on it you can enable this option then we have click to reveal if i enable this instead of showing the coupon code it is going to show a button click to reveal and the user will need to click on that button in order to get the coupon code so i have it enabled and this is going to be the text for the button and click to reveal behavior new tab plus pop-up let's make it pop-up only hide no code needed if you are not using any coupon code and if you are using only the affiliate link then you are not going to add any coupon and in that case it is going to disable that option from the page let me save these changes and let's see how does this look let's refresh it now here instead of coupon code you will see the button click to reveal and if i click on it it is going to open a pop-up and in the pop-up it is going to show the coupon code then we have title tag is set to h2 description height is 90 pixel display expiration date let's enable this option save the changes let's go back refresh it now here you will see the expiration date while creating this coupon we added the expiration date and that will be shown here then we have expiration behavior what do you want to do after the coupon or the deal expires move it to draft or label as expired so after the expiration it is going to move that deal into the draft expiration recurrence will be daily link behavior direct or split hide coupon type labels you will see it here if checked the coupon type tags will no longer be displayed on coupon panels by default it is checked all right let's go to the next option that is configuration this is for the page width page padding force global widget force home page widget and related coupons at the top you will see different options display styling extra and support let's go to styling and from here you can change style settings of the deal so this is basically the coupon background color you will see it here if i want to change it i can change it let's use this one discount background color let's change that one to blue this is the text color expiration date text color let's make it black discount code background let's make it green this is for the text link accent let's save the changes and let's see how does this look refresh it and you will see the changes this is the background color and this is the coupon background color expiration date color has been changed you can also change this button color so from here you can customize the style settings you will see the fonts option also you can make changes to the fonts from here 
let's go to extra and you will see direct links target will be new tab or the self tag force no follow enable clipboard and you will see other settings let's go to support and you will see the documentation if you need any help you can go to documentation so one by one you can start adding coupons and all the coupons will be shown on this page you can also use short codes to display coupons on different pages and posts you can create different categories and list them using categories if i go to posting category it should show the coupons which are under this category so if you want to create deals and coupons website for affiliate marketing, you can try using this free plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to download this plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.